Hello, everybody. All right, let's get you educated on on some investing here with uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, and he's come a long way. I like this guy. He never used to like Bitcoin, but now he's pretty cool. And he talks about a few other things. Uh, stay to the very end of this interview and listen to the last couple comments they they make. Yeah, I love it. All right, so check out my pinned comments for some cool links. Let's get into it. That America became the power in 1944 with the Bretton Woods Agreement. And then this dollar became the reserve currency of the world. In other words, the dollar was as good as gold. That's all changed. And today we're in serious trouble globally. And I'm very concerned. The end of the American empire is here. The message I want everybody to hear is the world is finding out that this is fake. It's not fiat, it's fake. And so the reason I don't get invited to CNBC anymore is because when I'm on there, <clears throat> I say I do not invest in anything that can be printed. You can print this. Real estate is, um, you have to, I think the toughest industry is be a junior miner, which is here. There's so many variables. Mining is the toughest industry I've ever been in. And real estate is just as tough. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. But you gotta be smarter. So that's why I always say your greatest asset is not this or this. Your greatest asset is between this year and this year. Right. And the reason I come to these shows is because I'm always feeding this thing. I've learned more in one day about global, you know, what's going on in the Ukraine war, this, this, and this. You know, Andy Sheckman was up there talking about what's going on with this. I'm like, I didn't know that. So I would come to the VRIC or any one of these conferences because this is global money. And to be good at gold, you better understand the world. This here is global money, it's silver. So yeah. today I'm learning about lithium and silver and copper because it's resources. And so that's why I come to the VRIC, is to get educated. I'm baby boomer. Trump and I are baby boomer. We wrote two books together. So the baby boom caused a boom. So my generation, the boomers, is at 46 to 64. We had the easiest of any generation in history. So I graduated from the academy in 1969. <clears throat> you know, you buy a house, it goes up. You put your money in the stock market, it goes up. So the boomers have only known boom. They caused it. Do you know what I mean? But now as the boomers retire, the baby bus sits in. And that's my warning to all the boomers who in 19... So this is 64. In 1974, the 401k was created. Yeah. And the stock market went through the roof. And the reason they put money into the stock market, because my generation's parents, my mom and dad, didn't trust the stock market because the market crashed in 29. Right. So they had to find a way, Wall Street did, to get my generation of boomers into the stock market. So they created, voila, the 401k. The 401k. They stopped the traditional pension from most Correct. companies Correct. and created 401ks Correct. where companies- You got it. Contribute and the stock market went up, real estate went up, and now the bust has started. I talk about things I do. I don't write or talk about things I don't do. Yeah. So like this guy Biden, I'm not Republican or Democrat, but I don't listen to what politicians say, I watch what they do. So as soon as Biden got elected, his first act was to take off the Keystone XL pipeline. So I was, I sell oil. I have oil wells, I have real estate, I have gold mines because I'm an entrepreneur. The price of oil went from $30 a barrel when the heat came in, Biden came in, to $130 a barrel. Inflation went through the roof. And then the Biden and the, the crime family, you know, they work for the Ukraine, Russia, and China. They say, well, the oil companies are, are greedy. Well, he cut off our oil. Civilization runs on oil. So when he took out the Keystone XL pipeline, inflation went through the roof, and this is the real problem. The middle class came down. You see, when you raise inflation, he was killing. When he took, you know, you pump in gas in your SUV, your mom and pop, you got two incomes making 100K a year. 
what gas goes from what to what, he caused, or his group caused the inflation. In financial education, there's fundamental, you know, fundamental trading and technical. Technical is the up and down. So when I saw Bitcoin go to 20,000, I don't know what it was, they dropped down to a dollar, so what's toast? But then it came roaring back. So when it hit 6,000, I bought 60 Bitcoin at 6,000. I think today it's at 20,000. Yeah, it's around about 21,000 Yeah, but so the more I'm in it, the more I realize it has sustainability. So the reason people buy Bitcoin is the same reason I buy this, and I buy this, is I don't trust this. It's the same reason. I want to say one last thing. I mean, these academic geniuses like uh, Bernanke, you know, the PhDs from academia, he destroyed our economy. Bernanke destroyed our economy by dropping interest rates so low and printing money, now we're the biggest debtor nation in world history, and they give him the Nobel Prize? What is wrong with our country? What is wrong with us? And we're supposed to be the reserve currency of the world after 1944. Why don't we teach kids that? Why don't we teach them it's a 1619 project which changes history? You know, why, do, why, why is our education system so corrupt? But that's the story of rich dad, poor dad. My poor dad, PhD from Stanford, Northwestern University of Chicago. He knew nothing about money. My rich dad never went to college, but he did know this was real and this is not real. Well, as a Marine Corps pilot, I've killed a lot of people. And so what I see going on in Ukraine, my heart bleeds. I feel for the women and children more than the soldiers. But I'm so old, like I started buying this you know, 60 years ago. But even before that, in 1962, I believe, I grew up on the island of Hawaii, the big island. And I saw an atomic bomb go off. So there was Christmas Island south of us. And my family are watching television. I'm probably 14 or 15 years old. And I see this flash go through the house. I went, what's that? What was that? What it was was Christmas Island detonating a small bomb. As a test. Yeah, that's, that's how they tested the weapon. So my family, we, we, we turn off Johnny Carson or whatever it was, you know, and we go to the window and the paper described it exactly. It said, it looked like somebody poured blood in the sky. So when you talk, when, so when Rickards is talking about possibility of nuclear war and all that, I think the reason it's easy to talk about it is you haven't seen it. Like most people haven't killed anybody. When you see that, you're anti, I'm anti-war now. It's horrible. It was horrible what we had to do. And I felt for the troops when we got spit on when we got back from Vietnam. Wait, anyway, so, so when, when the paper says it looks like blood was poured in the sky, so when people just casually toss around, oh, it's a possibility of a nuclear war, they don't know what they're talking about. I am a U.S. Marine. I'm a ring knocker. It means I went to the academy. Yeah, I'm as hardcore military as I become. I do not like where we're going. We're cruising for war to end the problem of this year, just because of fake money. There's one more thing is today they talk about homelessness. It's exploding. And people say it's because they're on drugs or they're mentally deranged. But there's a whole classification of homeless who are working homeless. Because this is so, so abundant, they can't afford a house. So they're working, they live in their cars with their kids and all this. They're not drug dealers, they're honest, hardworking people. But the more they pervert this, which started in 1971, when Nixon took this, which is gold, off the gold standard, this became fake money. And fake money, like the Weimar Republic in Germany and all this, has always led to war and depression. Yeah. I'm, I'm concerned. And that's why I wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. I said, why don't our schools teach us about money? Why don't they teach us in 1964, Johnson, President Johnson took this off the gold standard. Why don't they teach us in 71, Nixon took this off the gold standard. That's more important than sexual bending or critical, critical race, race theory. theory. Oh, yeah. God, it's garbage what they're teaching kids. Hello, fellow adventurers. Are you tired of lugging around those big, heavy, and noisy generators on your camping trips? Well, you're in luck. The Blue Eddy generator is here to make your life easier and your camping experience more enjoyable. Let me tell you, these generators are game changers. They're ultra portable and lightweight, making them perfect for taking on the go. 
and don't be fooled by their small size. These little guys pack a powerful punch. You can power up your devices, lights, and even small appliances like blenders or coffee makers, all with ease. But here's the best part. The Blue Eddy generators are super quiet. That's right, no more noisy interruptions to your peaceful camping experience. You can power up your gadgets without disturbing the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. And the utility of these generators doesn't stop there. They're also great for emergency backup power during power outages or natural disasters. Keep your lights on and your devices charged no matter what life throws your way. So why settle for those clunky, noisy, and heavy generators when you can have a portable and powerful solution that makes your camping life easy? In our pinned comments, you will find a link to Blue Eddy. Check them out today.